Walking with the Lord, I would tell nobody, it's easy. No. Imagine being told you got to live a life time of self-denial. You can't do nothing to make yourself happy that'll make God displeased. That'll mean you can't be happy. It's just your happiness cannot come from wrong. You can't do nothing, nothing. Mm. that will make you happy, give you joy, mm. give you peace, give you satisfaction in any form. Mm. If it don't bring God peace, if it don't bring God joy, if it don't bring God happiness. My Lord. Whatever God is unhappy about, he wants you to be unhappy about. Whatever God ain't satisfied about, he don't want you to be satisfied about it. Mm. Whatever God hate, he want you to hate. That's right. Now I want to call your attention to the message we had this morning. Mm -hmm. Father have not left me alone. <laughs> Wonderful. Amen. I want to go back to Peter and mm -hmm. warn you again. Amen. Many of you are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and actually received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. But after you got baptized, that's all you did and didn't do nothing else. No. You may hung around the church a while, just enough to learn two songs, <laughs> clapped, jump around, but then you went back out there in the street mm. or in the false church you came out of yeah. or to another false church that may teach the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Mm. But this way to you was too strict, That's yeah. right. too rough. You know, for you to join the army, you might as well be ready to tolerate boot camp. That's right. You don't want to do boot camp, don't think of army. That's right. You stick to watching G.I. Joe. Yeah. The cartoon version. That's right. But if you got a mind to go in military for real, you got to go through boot camp. That's right. Even homosexuals join the military. And I never heard of a separate boot camp for them. No. They don't have boot camp separate for homosexuals. No. You got to go through the same exercises. Same rough obstacle course. Mm -hmm. Well, God don't make an obsession for an uh, obsession. Exception. 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 Beg your pardon. You got thank you, Williams. Amen. Amen. Anyway. <laughs> God don't make an exception. He correct me today. Don't say that because he ain't going to let you leave it down. He ain't going to let me leave it down. Oh. By the time I leave the pulpit, William's going to call me and correct me and quote the scripture. Oh, scripture that gave my inspiration to God and proper for doctrine, for reproof, for correction. It's all in your mind, isn't it? See, I told you. I wasn't thinking of that. There's a spirit that's in him. Anyway, <laughs> you got to continue, viewers. Continue. Walking with the Lord, I would tell nobody it's easy. No. Imagine being told you got to live a life time of self denial. My Lord. You can't do nothing to make yourself happy that'll make God displeased. That'll mean you can't be happy. It's just your happiness cannot come from wrong. Mm. Ain't nobody say amen or nothing. Very, very quiet. Before then, they was all laughing with whims and everything. <laughs> Glory to God. Very quiet. You can't do nothing, nothing. Mm. that will make you happy, give you joy, mm. give you peace, give you satisfaction in any form. If it don't bring God peace, if it don't bring God joy, if it don't bring God happiness. My Lord. Whatever God is unhappy about, he wants you to be unhappy about. Amen. 
Whatever God ain't satisfied about, he don't want you to be satisfied about it. Mm. Whatever God hate, he want you to hate. That's right. That is tight. I believe they told the prophet in one scripture that uh, the way that you stand on is too straight for us. Straight for us. God way is straight, straight, narrow. Oh yes. Scriptural solitary confinement. Mm. That's what it is. That's what it is. One must be scripturally institutionalized. That's right. That you're locked up with God so long, you don't know how. If you do backslide, that you no longer know how to do what you used to do because you've been so scripturally institutionalized. I, you know, yeah, you know a person that's been in jail a long time, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, the same prison they used to hate, now they depend on those walls. True. And when they go out there in the street, they are institutionalized to a degree, they don't know how to survive. Because the prison instincts and the mentality is closed behind walls. Mm -hmm. So they get so bored out there that they deliberately do wrong, commit a crime, just so they can go back to prison. That's true. Mm -hmm. And to them, prison is home and freedom is bondage. That's true. Isn't that something? Yes, to them, prison is home. And being outside of prison is like being in a foreign country to them. Now, God's word has to be home for the church. Wherein being outside of the word, foreign. That's right. Until you get so displeased with what's, with what's out there, you run back yeah. to the prison. Pastor Paul said in Hebrews, or rather Ephesians chapter 3, begin at verse 1, I, Paul, the prisoner, the, the inmate of Jesus Christ, of Jesus Christ, I, Gentiles. Paul, the inmate. Yeah. He was arrested when the light shined from heaven oh, yeah. above the brightness of the sun, knocked him down to the earth and asked him, why are you persecuting down me? And he said, what thou, Lord? Uh, the Lord said, I'm Jesus whom you persecute. It's hard for thee to kick against the prick. He was arrested that day. That day. Yeah. And never, never escaped prison. No, we did. Never went on parole. Never, never took a leave of absence. That's right. When you backslide, you take a leave of absence from the word of God. That's right. So, you want to be in God long enough that you are scripturally institutionalized that's right you are spiritually institutionalized yeah. so god forbid that day come you jump over the wall <laughs> why you out there because you are scripturally institutionalized you can't go nowhere and feel comfortable that's right that's right you find yourself ducking and hiding because you know God is watching you. <laughs> That's right. And you physically ducking down. Yeah. You're going to places that you shouldn't be in, sliding down the chair. <laughs> what? You know you ain't supposed to be there. Oh, praise this great name. That's right. When you do that, you know there's a form of spiritual institutionalized. Yeah. You look to the left and look to the right, but you never look up. Because the eyes of the Lord run to and fro. That's right. When that inmate go out there, he's uncomfortable. Yeah. He don't know how to react now around a crowd. Mm -hmm. That's not criminals when he's institutionalized. That's right. So sometimes he may isolate himself, be to himself. He become bored. And in his mind, man, I'm going back to jail. He'll do something simple as breaking a candy store. Yeah. Whatever it takes to go back to prison, yeah. to be among his family, yeah. he'll do the smallest crime. That's right. Just so he can do the longest time. <laughs> so
So when you're in the church from the Lord Jesus Christ, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, that's the name of the prison. Yeah. Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's God's prison. That's right. He makes soldiers out of inmates. That's right. That's right. And many cannot take the strict discipline of the warden. <laughs> so they hop the fence. Yeah. But some been in the church so long, they can't even dance <laughs> without scriptures coming to their mind. That's Amen. true. They get dressed the way they normally don't dress. Scriptures come to their mind. Yeah. And they try to shut it out. Yeah. Shaking their head as if that's going to make the scriptures run out. <laughs> they can't light a cigarette in peace. <laughs> Cleanse yourself from all filthiness of the flesh. <sighs> that's true. That's true. What? Being irritated yeah. for being institutionalized. Uh -huh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Go inside of a club and try to fit in. God is moving on a sinner. Yeah. Sinner never saw that former servant of God. Never saw him in his life. Walk up to him. Man, you don't fit in here. What are you doing here? You, I don't even, I don't know you. I don't even know why I'm saying this. But down in his heart, he know God talking to him. Yeah. He's all spooked up now. That's right. That's right. He go to the bar and try to drink it out. Give me a uh, bourbon. Don't taste like it used to. Why? Because his mouth been speaking in tongues so long. Mm. So the spirit then totally altered his taste buds from the kernel thing. Yeah. Drank that bourbon. I asked for bourbon, sir. It's, it's bourbon. What is God doing? He don't even allow his mouth to enjoy it. Mm. Many of you watching, you can identify with this. So he keep trying to fit in. She, she keep trying to fit in. <laughs> Amen. She go to the store, buy the most kinkiest clothes she can. Yeah. That's her way of saying, I'm determined. Yeah. Huh. I'm determined. I don't care what the Bible says. I'm out here now. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Shaking her hair like a cobra. Go to the petition parlor, get her hair all dyed, get it all clipped, get it all done and all out, get her eyebrows arched and whatnot, get her lipstick on. Then all of a sudden she feel a panic attack. Mm -hmm. Start hyperventilating. Anxiety that she never had. Because when she was serving God, peace was there. Peace. Oh, praise the name of the Most High. You see, some of you are experiencing what I'm talking, and you don't know what's going on. Thank God, but I'm telling you, God is dealing with you. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. God, I said. That's right. Dealing with you. Anxiety sets in. So she tried to tune out how she feel. Put on her prostituting looking skeletos and her mini skirt. Even go get a tattoo. Yeah. Try to blend in so bad. Yeah. Go to a party. Shaking and jumping. Amen. Yeah. And the word of God is racing in her heart. Mm. All of a sudden she started getting sick. Uh -huh. Can't enjoy the atmosphere. God smote her. Yeah. Get ill. Run out the bar. Run out the club. Yeah. Her newfound friends. You all right? Yeah, I just need some air. That's all right, I just need some air. While she's out there getting air, scripture come to her. Um, God started talking through the word, the word. to her mind. Reminding her how committed he is. That's right. So he'll bring to her. I'm married backslide. to the backslider. Backslide. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
I am obligated by my own precepts and my own doing to right. bring you back to me. That's right. Oh yeah. To try to shake it off, shake it off. He tried to shake it off. So he and she start to indulge in things that they never indulge in as a method of tuning God out. That's right. So you smoke some weed and put you in a rim that you've never been in before. Thank God and God step in and visit you in that rim. That's true. Because I don't care what you smoke, I don't care what you take. It ain't nothing that got you too high that God can't interfere with it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's true. Why do God do this? Out of love. That's right. He's delivering, glory to God, your soul from the pit and your life from the destroyer. Oh, yes. Sitting outside trying to clear your head. All of a sudden, there's a voice blocks away. Sinner come up. Wow. Blasting the truth of God. That's right. Blasting. That's right. Just so happened, he slowed down <laughs> right outside of a club that he had no intentions going on. And God will bring the right message, the right time while you're out there. Yeah. And then let the sinner drive off. That's right. But he dumped enough on you. Oh, yes. Glory to God to make you lose sleep. <laughs> and hallelujah. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. God is after you. After you. If after. Boy, if after the chapter state, verse again. Second Peter chapter 2 and at verse 20. You better hear this, viewers. Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 20. If after they have escaped, they have got away the pollutions of the world. Got away from the pollutions of the world. Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know better, sister, brother. You know better. You know you wasn't made to be out there like a fool. You were made for God's glory. That's right. But because you want to blend in. Yeah. And because you are afraid of what the public and your friends and your family think of you. That's right. You don't want to disappoint them. Yeah. But yet you don't mind disappointing God. Amen. I was in a barbershop. Old man was in there. Red cap. Blood red cap. Blood red shirt. Blood red pants. Blood red belt. Blood red socks. Blood red shoes. He oh. made a little red riding hood look bad. <laughs> What made it so bad, he looked like he was about in his late 70s. And one day we were talking about church. God. Go ahead and take God. He got so uncomfortable. Uh -huh. He started patting his feet. Moving his hand, looking around. And then one barber said, well, Pastor Dylan, before you, who was the most popular preacher in Philadelphia? I said, oh, Bishop S.C. Johnson. Wonderful. When I said that, the old man bent over and put his hands like this. Wow. Then I said, sir, he said, <laughs> I said, you are old timer. Do you remember? I don't know the man. I said, you've been in Philadelphia many years, haven't you? He said, oh, yes. I said, do you remember? Bishop Beth C. Johnson. Brother, his Adam's apple went up and down so much, you would think his Adam's apple was a basketball being bounced on the court. Oh. And he said, while his voice was cracking with nervousness, yeah. he said, I, 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 I was raised there as a child, and I, I used to go there. I said, oh, were you baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? He said, oh, oh, yes, yes. I was. In his mind, I can't believe I'm having this conversation. But now, out there, almost 80, or maybe in his 80s, no God. No more Holy Ghost. God have a way of just bringing warning. 
That's right. It can be a minute. It can be two minutes. It don't take much to warn you. That's right. If your house is burning, somebody ain't got to give a whole speech. All they got to do is say, fire! That's right. One word. You gone. Oh, yes. Am I right, I said? That's right. I want you to hear this now. That's right. Come on, Williams. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein. This is what have happened. Amen. Yeah. They are again entangled therein. The knowledge of God have made you free. The knowledge of God have liberated you. The knowledge of God have given you freedom. The knowledge of God have delivered you out of whatever you was in because you obtained knowledge and it taught you how to come out and stay out. That's right. Yes. But in order for you to stay out long term, yeah. over to God, you got to stay around the word of God. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Many of you is trying to do this on your own. It can't be done that way. No. That's why when you come to church, don't try to be like nobody else. Don't try to follow nobody else's example. And don't try to keep up with nobody else. That's right. When you serve God, be in it for yourself. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. For if after they if have escaped, after you have came out of the world. The pollutions of the world. The pollutions of the world. Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh yes, viewers, that's millions of you. That's oh, right. Yeah. Have repented of your sins, were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ oh, yeah. years ago. And many of you was baptized recently in some state, some town, some city, some country after hearing the truth of the gospel. That's right. What happened? They are again entangled therein. Oh, you're back in the club now. Yeah. Thank God. Okay. Out there dancing now. That's right. Pole dancers. Pole dancers. Now you own your club. Yeah. Became a big time rapper with plenty of money. Amen. Started business making unlawful money. Unlawful. Now you're out there selling crack. Yeah. Selling over the counter drugs. That's right. By the bundles. Yeah. That's right. Killing boys. Killing girls, killing fathers, killing mothers by the drugs you sell to them. Mm -hmm. I want you to hear this now. Any man or woman out there selling drugs and that man, woman, boy or girl die as a result of what you sold them. You are their killer. You are their murderer. That's and right. you're going to stand before God. That's right. Have mercy. Amen. You're going to stand before God. Yeah. You better hear this. You can laugh at it all you want. Why I say, Pastor Jenny, oh man, that old, that old cat on television, he cracks me up. All right. All right. There's going to be some cracking done. <laughs> That's right. When God appear up in the heavens. That's right. What did he say? For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world. What is it? Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Knowledge is power. Knowledge. Glory oh, be to God. That's what got us out of the false churches and the false religion. That's right. The knowledge of God. That's right. Open my eyes. That's Enlighten right. me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Give me an understanding now I can run for my life. That's right. Thanks be unto God. Give us the same thing that he gave the former brethren. Hallelujah. That's why it's so strong. Yeah. That's why. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. That's why I see the results right. that the apostles had because it is exactly the same thing oh, yeah. backed by the same God. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It. Hallelujah. That's Glory right. to God. Getting the same results. That's right. And or if after they have if escaped, after they have escaped. Hey viewers that are watching me, did you escape the pollutions of the world? That's right. Did God bless you to make you escape? You escape. He did? Mm. The devil's tugging on you now, isn't it? That's right. Hey Amen. I know the devil's pulling on you. I don't care how long you've been baptized. <laughs> Have the Holy Ghost. The devil's doing his job by pulling on you, and you got to do your job by fighting him. That's right. That's right. I know the fight is hard. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. 
Glory to God, but Paul said, I fought a good fight. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Thank God you got to fight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to fight a good fight. That's right. You can't walk this way and don't do no fasting. Don't do no praying. No praying. Fasting and praying are the essential spiritual exercises to build up your spirit in God. Fight the good fight of faith. What? Fight the good fight of faith. Do you hear this? In 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 12. Fight it. Fight the good fight of faith. Fight Fight it. That's right. Hallelujah. Fight. Hallelujah. 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 Fight it. Fight the good fight of faith. Glory Hallelujah. Be to God, glory to God. Hallelujah. That devil is pulling on you. Yeah. Go ahead, man. Go back out there. Sell drugs. Yeah. Make that money. But the Holy Ghost said. Fight the good fight. Fight it. Fight. Fight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Devil pulling on you Hallelujah. to try to make that money by breaking moral law and God's law. That's right. Who will take God, but the Holy Ghost says, do what? Fight the good fight of faith. You got to fight it. Fight. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, yes. You're out there. God gave you talent. You're organ player, piano player, drummer horn player and you're playing for the devil in false church and you know it's wrong because you hear the gospel the, the truth gospel. of God and you are convicted but yet you love money so much you'd rather keep making that money and hide behind the name of Jesus Christ but your money going to be a witness against you that's right that's right you got to fight. Fight the good fight of faith. The good fight of faith. Lay hold. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. How, how we got to hold this belief? Lay hold. Lay hold. On eternal life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Thank God you got to lay hold. Lay on. hold. That's right. Lay hold. On eternal life. Thank God I'm laying hold on eternal life. That's right. When I lay hold on it, that means I, 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 I'm gripping it. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm gripping it. Hallelujah. Thank mm. God. And you bear in mind, while you're gripping it, the devil going to try to pry it out of your hand. That's right. But you got to hallelujah. Right. You got to lay hold on. Lay hold on eternal life. Come on. Mm. You see what I'm talking about? Hallelujah. hallelujah. You got to lay hold to it. Lay hold on eternal life. Hallelujah. You know when you lay hold on a lay, thing, lay it means a lot to you. That's right. That's right. You know when that woman got a pocketbook yeah. and someone come and try to snatch it yeah. he's pulling she's pulling that's right why that thing mean a lot to her they going back and forth that's right she laying hold they to hold. that's right hallelujah that's where you got to hold to this salvation lay hold that's where you got to hold to holiness that's right until when a false prophet come along yeah. trying to take it out your father trying to take it out yeah. your wife trying to take it out yeah. your husband trying to take it out hallelujah hallelujah Glory to God Lay hold. Lay hold. Lay hold. On eternal life. Hallelujah. Lay hold on what? On eternal life. Thank God I'm Hallelujah. laying hold on eternity. Hallelujah. 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 Glory Hallelujah. to God. Laying hold, Lay hold on eternity. That's right. Not going to let it go. That's right. Set to my seal that God is true. Hallelujah. 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 Lay hold on. Lay them. hold on eternal life. Yes. yes. Once you get a hold of the baptism yes. in the name of Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's right. Thank God that's the new birth. That's it. That puts you in the church. That's right. That puts you in the body. Now there's rules. Yes. There's teachings. That's right. There's regulations yes. that keep you in the church. That's right. And when you follow that, yes. it will promise you yes. eternal life. Eternal life. And you got to lay hold to that. Lay hold on eternal life. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone say, well, Pastor Jennings, suppose I lose my eternal life. Let me give you some knowledge. Nobody will lose eternal life. Yeah. That's right. I guess want to pause to give you time to think. That's right. Everybody in the world, past and present, shall have eternal life, but not with God. That's right. Or if they God, there's a chosen ones that'll be with God. Even though that's a number that no man can number. These are they that are arrayed in white robes and have palms in their hands. That's right. That's the church. That's the church. Number that no man can number. Yeah. 
Blessed be the Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of God. But when you stand before God, oh God, when you make that first resurrection, amen, then you can say, I'm saved. I'm saved. Hallelujah. I'm saved. I made right. it. That's right. You better lay hold on eternal life, lay hold heroes. On eternal life. Go back to the book of Peter quickly now. Back in 2 Peter 2 and verse 20. Yes. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's why we take our time, viewers, and teach. That's yes. right. Yes. Breaking down the wisdom and the knowledge and the perfect and fallible understanding of the most high God, Jehovah himself. That's right. That you may be able to identify yourself. Yes. With the principles of scripture. Amen. I want you to clearly understand, all of you that are watching around the world, I want to remind you, Wonderful. you came in this life without anything. I, you are leaving this life the same way you came. That's right. That's true. That's right. There's nothing to lay hold on to other than God. Oh, yes. Listen. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world. What? Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What happened? They are again entangled therein. Are you entangled again, viewers? Hmm. You that are watching me now. <clears throat> you that are watching me now. Entangled. You entangled again? Yeah. You are thinking about the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. And you got a beer in your hand right now. My Lord. Hearing me, moreover, preach about repent, repent, repent. You hear the voice in the wilderness of the world. That's right. We're not just in the wilderness of America. We're standing in the wilderness of all the earth. That's right. Telling the world That's to right. repent and come back to God. That's right. You hear it, viewer. Amen. You hear it, man. You hear it, woman. Amen. Woman, you got your white wine now in your hand, mm -hmm. laying with your legs all drawn up on your bed, leaning back on your pillar and your champagne glass watching me on YouTube or watching me on television and this word is talking direct to you and you looking at me now with your hands over your head saying I can't believe he's saying this <laughs> yes we're saying it Amen. you bear in mind I don't care if you got more curves than all the grooves of your quilt <laughs> that's right you gonna die one day, sister. Oh yes. Yes, you are, and worms gonna cover your body. The worms are gonna be your new blanket. That's right. Huh? That's right. Your coffin is gonna be your new bed. That's right. Thank God, and your alarm clock is gonna be the voice of God. My Lord, my Lord. Ah! He's gonna call Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Glory to God and snatch you. Mm. Bless God and bring you back to stand before him. That's right. And you bear in mind, your beauty won't play no role no, no. in your eternal life with him. That's right. Do you hear this? For if after they have escaped. If after. They have escaped. Glory to God, you have escaped. The pollutions of the world. The wickedness, the evil. The disgustingness of the world. Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior because Jesus Christ. Because now you've been properly taught. That's right. Eh? They are again entangled therein. Now you are again. Mm. Entangled therein. And overcome. She don't mean you no good. And she ain't your wife. Let her go. Let her go. He don't mean you no good. He ain't your husband. Let him go. That's right. That's right. That drug dealer don't mean you no good. Look at you. Look at you, sister. Look at you. Sister, look at you. You love that drug so much until you debating whether to sell your baby just to get a hit. My Lord, my Lord. That's true. You're debating whether to sell your little boy. My Lord. Your little girl. And that trifling no good dog for a dope dealer. Mm -hmm. Who's worthless as a human being. Yeah. That's right. Have no value for life. That's right. Here, take your baby, sodomize it. Yes, he will. Take your baby, rape it, or here, sell it to the highest trifling hell deserving bidder. That's right. Here, sell your baby like a slave master sell a slave. That's right. Why? Because he don't have no value for life. He only love money. Yeah. Now let me tell you dope dealers out here in the streets of America and the world, any woman's baby you sold for an exchange of drugs is going to come up in your face in eternity. That's right. That's right. You won't get around it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Laugh at Pastor Jennings out. Laugh. Laugh, clown. Laugh. That's right. Glory to God, but you're going to remember when you hear the voice of God Hallelujah. stirring around in your casket to collect your dust. That's right. And you will stand before him yeah. as the extra dealer you are. Mm. And from there, he going to push you over into hell. That's right. You better hear this stiff neck, hard head, high-minded, arrogant, loud, radio blasting fool. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of if the world. If after. They have escaped the pollutions of the world. Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus this Christ. This is the knowledge. That's why God blessed this program to deal with every subject. Yeah. That way you are robbed. You won't be able to tell God, I didn't know. No. You are robbed of being stupid. <laughs> That's right. This information coming to you free of charge and you still don't want it. Yeah. But you're going to get it. Oh, yes. Wonderful. If after you ever escape the pollutions of the world. Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus look Christ. Look at the pollutions of the world, the entertainment industry. I was in a barbershop and you know, they play whatever they want to play. Rappers on there just cussing some girl up there. I guess she's uh, what they call a uh, dyke, but a uh, lesbian because I'm pretty sure they probably bleep dyke. They don't want me to say dyke. They're going to bleep dyke. <laughs> I say dyke, they bleep it. They bleep dyke. <laughs> hey Amen. They don't want me to say dyke, or, you know, bleep it. Bleep it. Hey Amen. Lesbian. They may bleep that, but you ain't got the business bleeped it. They're so proud of being it. That's true. That's true. That's true. He's so proud of being it. What are you going to bleep it for? Amen. Amen. And she was just on there just rapping about her lesbianism and bragging about it and cussing wow. and shirt on and hat like a man, My walking Lord. like a boy and all that. They love that. My Lord. Young girls out here ain't hardly got no feminine way about them at all. That's true. Huh? That's true. When I came up, a girl was standing. Feminine way about her. Yeah. Where she laughed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And went from to. What? That's right. It went from, what did you say? To say, what? <laughs> what you say? What's up? That's it's true. a girl. What's up? What's up? What happened? <laughs> a mouth all cooking. What happened? Yeah. Yeah, it's something. Am I right, I said? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't hardly know who's a woman or who's a man. That's true. That's why you things out there get upset with me, but I'm telling you, this message is before God's arrival. That's right. That's right. This message is before the coming of the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't care if you don't believe that God is real. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to believe God is real. You can keep lying and say the Bible was written by European Same. whites. Keep selling Same. that cheap trash to fools. That's right. That's dumb enough to believe it. Yeah. But when you see the word of God be fulfilled, and it's being fulfilled every day. Yes, it is. Amen. Bible said wars and rumors of wars. Don't you see them? Yeah. Bible said itself when you see them gathering the streets in the mm -hmm. Old Testament. By crowds, yeah. as it is written in the Old Testament. When you see them gathered in the streets, it's being fulfilled. fulfilled. Yeah. Murdering each other, being fulfilled. That's right. Earthquakes in diverse places, being fulfilled. Yeah. Famine, Famine, being fulfilled. Yeah. Pestilence, being fulfilled. Yeah. You know why they don't want to believe the Bible. Right. They don't want to believe this book is true. No. They don't want to believe that God predicted the condition of all creation oh, yes. right to the end. That's right. They don't want to believe it. I don't care if they don't believe it. Hmm. It don't change the truth of the scriptures and it don't stop God from being God. That's right. You arrogant, self-righteous, high-minded things that try to blaspheme God, make mockery of God, make music to deliberately try to belittle God. Mm -hmm. God is just being patient with you. That's all. Sit around and laugh and have your fun and curse God, call God anything you like. That's right. That's all right. It gives me great confidence mm -hmm. and much assurance to know that you don't have the last say. Turn you at my reproof. Listen at this. In the book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 23. Says what? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Yes. I will make known my words unto you. I will, make, I will make known my words unto you. Oh, he's doing it now. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Because I have called 
and ye refuse. What? I have called and ye refuse. God is calling you viewers. That's right. He's using the truth of God message. That's right. Holiness. God using holiness. Listen at what I just said. God Almighty. Hey, unbeliever. I don't care if you don't believe it. You're mad? Good. <laughs> God is still using holiness to call you. That's right. Amen. That's why you're here watching now. That's right. Upset, but God is using holiness to call you. I have called. I have called. And ye refuse. But you refuse. I have stretched out my hand. I have stretched out my hand. And no man regarded. No man regarded. What you mean? I showed mercy. That's yeah. right. That's what stretched out your hand is. That's right. I showed mercy and nobody regarded. But ye have said it not all my counsel. You have said it not. You reject God's advice. And would none of my reproof. And would not accept his reproof. I also will laugh. Huh. At your calamity. God said you laughed at me. Now my turn is coming. That's right. Huh? I also will Oh, laugh. you made mockery of the Bible and cuss the Bible out. And you say F the Bible and yeah. F God. And you call Jesus a SOB and bragging about that you're serving the devil. That's right. God, and you out laughing and partying because you sold so many albums. And amen, they want to honor you for your blasphemy Go ahead. music. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hmm. But God is talking. I also will laugh at your I calamity. I also Hallelujah. will laugh at your calamity. I'm going to laugh at your calamity. I will mock. I will mock. When your fear cometh. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. When Amen. God come and appear up in the heavens. Yeah. And terror. Oh yes. Hit you from your head to your feet. That's right. What does God say he's going to do? I also will laugh at your calamity. I will laugh at your calamity. Hallelujah. I God appear up in the heavens. Mm. See you running. My Lord, my Lord. Trying to hide. Trying to get yourself right. That's right. He's going to laugh at you. I also will laugh at your calamity. Oh, thank God he's going to laugh at your calamity. I will mock. He's going to make, he's going to tease you. When your fear comes. When your fear comes, he's going to tease you over the fact you're scared. That's right. Because he's giving you prayer privilege now to let fear set in. That's right. And get moving towards him. But you're so arrogant and so stubborn in heart. He said, all right, you don't want to, you, you don't want to get it right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. When I come for the for the universe, yeah. for the world, and the heavens is on fire, That's right. and the heaven and earth begin to pass away, and I turn the moon into blood, yeah. and take Hallelujah. the light of the sun, and make the light of the sun go out, That's right. and don't come on no more. That's right. Thank God, and then I claim that day to be mine. That's right. It says, Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Say God. He said, the day of the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, yeah, come. That's right. Thank God it'll be the Lord's day. That's right. All up in heaven and those that made mockery of him and yeah. said he did not exist and yeah. blasphemed his name and was praising the devil That's and right. singing songs, worshiping the devil. That's right. But here come the devil's boss. I also will laugh at your calamity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil's Hallelujah. The devil's boss. Go ahead. He's in the heavens. That's right. Or take God and bind the devil. That's right. Devil can't say nothing. Mm. Devil can't do nothing. Amen. Devil don't have no power. That's right. Hallelujah. You're going to remember. Oh yes. You're going to remember all those years. Oh yes. Of fighting the message of holiness. That's right. All those years of thumbs down. Yeah. All those years of fighting it over the pulpit. Oh, yes. All those years of women ignoring it and jumping in your church and say, I'm going to be a preacher anyway. That's right. <laughs> That's right. All your years, oh, I don't believe that divorce is wrong. Lord. And God going to bring you and your second dead wife out the ground. My Lord. And stand before him. That's right. In judgment. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. You bear in mind, yes. this message, you will never get away from. No, you won't. You better give me the book of Hebrews. Yes. I want to show them that they uh, may think they can escape the one that speak on earth. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12. But they 12. won't escape him that speak from heaven. That's right. All right. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 25. What is it? See that you refuse not See him that, that speaketh. He refuse not. Him that speaketh. See that you don't refuse him. 
that speak on earth. For if they escape not, if you escape not, who refused him that spake on earth, who refused him that speak on earth, much more much shall we not we escape. Shall we not escape? If we turn if away we from turn him, turn away from him that speaketh from heaven, that speak from heaven, whose voice then shook whose the earth. Voice, hallelujah! Glory to God, shook the earth. But now he hath promised. Now he hath promised. Saying yet once more, I shake not yet the earth. Once only, more, I won't only shake the earth, but also heaven. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I will shake the heavens. And this word. This word. Yet once more signified. Once more signified. The, the removing of those things that are shaken. The removing of those things that are seen. At, that are shaken. That are shaken. As of things that are made. That are things that are made. That those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Now viewers. Mm. I'm warning you now. Oh yes. If after you have escaped the pollution of the world, through the knowledge of the Lord, through the and knowledge Savior of Jesus the Christ, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein. They are again entangled therein. Entangled therein. And overcome. And that thing overtook you. And God said, "Your latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Your ending gonna be worse than your start. For it had been better it's for them. It's better." Amen. For him. Not to have known not the way to know Jesus, this holy way. Then after they have then known. Then after you've been introduced to it. To turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. You did it. That's right. Yeah. You ain't you doing it to nobody but yourself. That's yeah. right. You have turned on it. Yes. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Now in Las Vegas gambling. Mm. And Atlantic okay. City gambling. Yes. Out there right. pimping. Pimping women. And you was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Out there making a bunch of babies. That's right. Won't take care of not a half of a child mm. with the baptism. My Lord. Abandon your family and pick up some other woman in her family and take care of all hers. Amen. And won't take care of your own. That's right. After you were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Stiff neck, hard head, self righteous thing. You're going to remember this message. Oh, yes. The worm, you're going to find out God going to alter your breathing. Oh, yes. Amen. The rhythm of your heart will change. That's right. Oxygen won't keep the spirit in you. That's right. God going to snatch your spirit out of your body. Oh, yes. And then when it comes time for eternity, you're going to face him. Yeah. Are you that tough? Uh -huh. you, you walking around cussing now, thank you so bad, all right? Are you so bad to face God? <laughs> That's right. Are you tough? tough? So tough now? Are you think you're that cute? Are you that cute for you to face God? Mm. You think God is impressed with your hips? I don't care if your hips, you can ride a Hot Wheel on it. That's right. Remember the old Hot Wheel racing track? Yep. Orange racing track, Orange. Hot Wheels. <laughs> Leading the way. I used to have one. You better sing in mind. It doesn't matter. No, no. God looked at the whole human family as dust. That's right. I want you to understand this. God looked at you as dust. And the reason why God make me preach so hard and I'm not impressed with none of you. Because I look at you the same. Same. You ain't nothing but a bunch of unsanctified dust. That's right. You're going to stand before God. I don't care how cute you think you are, how much money you have. I'm not impressed with nobody. No. Nobody. 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 <laughs> I want to scratch it. Scratch you know? it. <laughs> That's right. Scratch the record. Amen. Nobody. Nobody. I ain't impressed with nobody. I don't care what you got. Wonderful. I don't care if you got a Bentley so long, the Wonderful. front is in Maine and the back is in old Mexico. <laughs> that's long. That's, that, that's long. Amen. The front is in the suburbs and the back is on a farm. <laughs> My Lord. And you got to call three area codes to tell your driver make a right turn. <laughs> you bear in mind. Amen. Death yes. is coming at the door of creation. Oh, yes. They already have knocked at many doors already. That's right. And they're still doing it. That's right. You fools out there say, COVID ain't real. Nobody paying your fool self no <laughs> mind. No. COVID will knock on your unbelieving heart. Yes, it will. You will understand your rejection of God. Your clock is ticking. Yeah. Lawyer, judge, city judge, Supreme Court judge, yeah. everybody. Yeah. You bear in mind, your position have no meaning in the earth when it comes to God. That's right. Everybody was made by the same God. Oh God. 
Everybody had the same creator. That's right. Everybody got to walk by the same rule. Everybody got to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the Holy Ghost or go to the same hell. That's right. That's true. Amen. You're not going to get away from this warning. No. Amen. It's better you haven't heard it. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of not righteousness. Not to know this truth. Than after they had than known to know it. To turn from the holy commandments. Turn away from the holy delivered commandments unto delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. What did God call them that turned on him? The dog is turned to his own Amen. vomit again. Suppose he's rich. The dog. Yeah. Amen. Got five wives, but what's, what, what did God look at him? The dog. Got six husbands, but how do God look at him? The dog. The most popular rapper now in the world, but how do God look at him? The dog. Got a house bigger than this campus, over 200,000 square feet, but how do God look at him? The dog. Amen. Hallelujah. Got 57 solid gold, 24 karat gold toilets, but mm. how do God look at him? The dog. While he's sitting on it, how do God look at him? The dog. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Amen. When he walked, his women throw pebbles at his feet and bongos start playing. How did God look at him? The dog. You can come on to America if you want. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> How did God look at him? The dog. I want every celebrity to understand this. You ain't got nothing but the breath in your popular nostrils. That's right. I want you to get this of what I'm telling you now. That's right. The world can praise you. You can get your Emmy, your <laughs> global, any reward you want. Yeah. But you and your reward going to burn in hell. That's, That's right. True. The greatest reward that you can ever get is eternal life with God. Eternal life. Yeah. Some folk get so mad, Pastor Jen, and you think everybody gone to hell. They get so mad at me, they say, all you do is talk about hell. But you want me to talk about heaven? Right. Don't you remember the old song? Everybody talk about <laughs> heaven ain't going there. Going heaven. <laughs> That's right. That's true. That's true. You want me to talk about heaven? You want me to talk about heaven, you cigarette sucking, pipe blowing, vapor blowing, alcoholic drinking, prostituting, pimp running, party going, club dancing, and you want to hear about heaven. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're going to, hell. going to hell. That's the message for you. Mm -hmm. You on your way to hell. That's right. Give me Acts 2.38 now. Acts 2.38, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you. In How much? Every one of you. God is giving you a chance. Oh, yes. Through this program. Through this program. That's right. God is giving the world a chance. Oh, yes. To come over here with him. Through this program. We ain't begging you for money. Nope. I'm no thief. That's right. You got a preacher that don't rob you. That's right. We're honest and straight up with you. That's right. We tell you straight the truth. Oh, yeah. Amen. We tell you exactly what God said. Amen. And the hard head folks still don't want it. That's right. Well, you may not want it, but as it was in the days of Noah, I'm still going to tell you. Oh, 